straw roller coaster out of straws, tape, and either a cardboard box or cardboard box lid. So what you need are some plastic straws. You need a cardboard box lid or cardboard box. Make sure your cardboard box is very big so it'll give you a big area, surface area to work on because you might want to make your roller coaster really big. You are going to need a lot of tape, okay? So if you don't have tape like this, masking tape, you only have scotch tape, the clear tape, that's okay. That'll work too. Make sure that you have a ball, okay? A light ball, okay, that's not too heavy. Okay, a pair of scissors because you're going to have to trim your straws to be different lengths. A little basket to catch your ball when you are playing with your roller coaster. Okay, and I'm going to go through step by step how to do this. And this is a roller coaster that I made. It's just a small one, but let's test it out before we get started to see how it works. Here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Yay! <laughs> All right. So go ahead, collect your materials, and we'll get started building. Okay, and now we're ready to start. Um, you're going to want to start your roller coaster on an, the edge of your box, not in the middle. And you're going to get your straws, and you're going to want to measure where you're going to put your two straws don't space them too far apart or your ball will fall right through. Okay, you're going to punch a hole through your box. You might need a grown-up to help you. It's a little hard to do. Okay, and then you're going to put your straw in. It might be a little wobbly, and that's okay because you are going to put a lot of tape around that straw. And so go ahead and put that straw in there. Get your tape, and then... Once you put your tape on there, you can put quite a bit of tape on there to make sure it's nice and secure because this is going to be the base of your roller coaster. And this first side of the roller coaster that you're making, you want it to be nice and tall because it's going to be the top of your roller coaster. And you can think about what design you want to make. And make sure you know that you're not making them too far apart because you don't want your ball to fall through. Okay, we're going to mark off the hole where we're going to punch through our pencil for our second hole. Yeah, it's a little hard to do. And then we'll get our second straw in there and get that tape all around it so it doesn't wiggle too much so use what tape you have to to make sure it's nice and secure and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to secure it in the middle now we're not going to want them to be touching in the middle we're going to want to keep them spaced apart but we're going to want to keep them secure with tape in the middle. It's just going to keep them nice and secure as a nice roller coaster base. There we go. Okay, and I want the first part of my roller coaster to be nice and tall so it'll have a nice big hill to go down. So I'm going to put two straws together. I'm going to put one straw inside the other straw. See how that's nice and tall? And then I'm going to do that with the other straw because you're going to make a hill. It's going to, your ball's going to have to roll down. So it's going to have to start at the tallest point and roll down. So this will be our tallest point right here and secure it together. Remember, you don't want to make them touch. You want to keep them spaced apart, but just secure them together spaced apart with that tape. And remember, if you make a mistake, you can just unwrap your tape, get some more tape, and fix it. This is all trial and error. I'm going to take a marker 
and I am going to draw out the design that I want to make. I think I'm going to do a straight line and then I'm going to curve over here. So I'm going to do a simple one like that, but I think that's going to work for me. You can do whatever design that you like. I already punched out some holes where I'm going to put some more straws and I have my straws right there. I have two straws in there so they'll be nice and long. Now I might trim them so I can make it like a big long slide. Now you can trim your straws to be whatever height you want them to be. You have to punch each hole through to put your straws through and I'm getting all my straws set up and then I'm gonna trim them so they go down just like it was going down a slide, a roller coaster. So I'm figuring out the layout of my roller coaster that I'm creating. Yours may look different. It may look similar to mine. It's totally up to you. And then right after I get past this point, it's gonna make a turn and then it'll be at the bottom. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. So now I'm gonna take the tape and I'm gonna start taping my straws to make them secure. All right, here we go. Okay, so now you're just building your straw roller coaster. You've decided on your design, you're taping your straws. You might need to trim them like I'm doing right now because I wanna have that hill. I'm taping them down I'm using quite a bit of tape and if I make a mistake I'll go back and I might need to pull some tape off or I might need to cut the tape off if it gets stuck and this is just the design period. Now there may be some adjusting um, where I'm gonna take the ball and I'm gonna test it and if it doesn't work then I'm gonna try something else so it's somewhat of an experiment so I'm trimming my straws to see how I have a good hill for this first part I'm doing some more taping I think it looks good hopefully it'll work but if it doesn't work then I'm going to try something else and it'll be okay Trimming my straws. And one of the trickier parts of the roller coaster is going to be when you make that turn. So I'm putting the straws in and I'm lining them up. This is the lower part of the roller coaster. It's getting down to the bottom. And I'm making them the lowest part. Lining them up using that tape you do use a lot of tape now if you have a grown-up that um is gonna help you you could use a hot glue gun um i didn't use a hot glue gun you could burn yourself so that's only if a grown-up says you can and would help you you could use a hot glue gun with these straws so that's another option that i didn't do because i decided to use the tape because that's something you could do on your own Okay, so now we're putting on the crossbars. This is what the ball is going to roll down. So I'm putting these on and I'm putting some tape on so they will stay in place. And I might find that I put the tape on and they're a little loose. So then I just add a little more tape to secure it on there. And maybe after I've already tested the ball and it's not quite working. I find there's some places that need to be secured. Okay, I do a little test. That part looks good. That's where it's gonna start from, so I wanna make it a little bit longer. I definitely need to trim some of my straws. Now I do have the bendy straws, so I might cut it right at the bend of the straw, but you don't have to have a bendy straw. You can just cut 
pieces of the straw and get the length that you want. Taping that on. And this could be a project that you work on and you don't finish in one day. You could work on it over a week. And while you're working on it, if you have a big box like I do, you could decorate it. You could put flowers on it. You could draw people on it like they're at an amusement park. To decorate it, really make it your own. Making sure that my straws aren't going to fall off and they're going to hold my ball. Now my ball's not too heavy, so that's good. This is where I use my bendy straw to make that corner. Now if you don't have bendy straws, then you can just use a longer piece and then a shorter piece right on this corner if you're making a turn. Now you might just make one big slide and then you won't have to worry about having a corner. I'm going to have to have another side to support it so the ball doesn't fall out. Now remember you might do all this and then it might not work so you'll have to make some adjustments. So it's trial and error. It's like an experiment. I'm getting close to the end. We're going to be able to try it out very soon. Hopefully it's going to work. Let's see. I th nope, it fell through. So I need to make those a little bit closer together. Oh, better. It's almost went through. I don't know how to put the basket in front of it to see if it's going to go through. But I'm going to make a wall, a barrier right there of straws so it doesn't go over the side. There we go. I'm going to put a little tape on there to support those straws, to support my wall. That's going to help the ball not go over the edge. And I think it is close to being finished. We just need that one last side. Now, your roller coaster could look very different from mine, but if you do make a straw roller coaster, we would love to see it if you want to post it on our face, the library Facebook page. We would love to see it. All right, we'll have to test it out. We're getting close to having the straw roller coaster being done after all your hard work of working on something it's exciting to try it out let's see all right here we go let's see if our straw roller coaster is gonna work after all that hard work yes it did it hooray